Oh, no, I didn't do that. I'm Ethan here to talk to you about water balance himself. Now remember, there are two types of eukaryotic cells. There are animal and plant cells. Now for all of these cells, there are three types of environments. There are isotonic, hypertonic, and hypotonic. Now let's take a look at what happens when you place a cell without walls in these types of environments. In an isotonic environment, a cell immersed in this will have no net movement of water. That means the rate flowing into the cell is the same as the rate flowing out. In a hypertonic solution, water will flow out of the cell faster than it comes in and the cell will eventually shrivel up and die. In a hypotonic solution, water will enter the cell faster than it comes out, bloating the cell, making it swell up and eventually burst and die. Now you see, plant cells have an advantage over animal cells because they have a cell wall. When in a hypotonic solution, a plant cell can only expand so much before it exerts a back pressure, making the plant cell tough and firm, and that term is called being turgid. However, a plant cell is not protected against hypotonic solutions. The wall means nothing. Plant cells can wither up in a hypotonic solution and they can die. And this is what happens when you see a wilting plant like this one. Well, I hope you learned something today and Mr. Hayes, you better give us an A because I'm talking a British accent and that makes me smart.